parchment lined cookie sheets can only mean one thing. It's baking time again. <laughs> May 15th, National, try not to spill them all over, Chocolate Chip Day. So what else do you make with chocolate chips but the classic chocolate chip cookie, right? We're definitely doing a chocolate chip cookie today. And we're putting a little twist on it. I found a recipe for something that sounded interesting to me. Uh, I don't know if you guys are fans of Whopper candies out there, the malted milk balls. Oh my God, since I was a kid, I love those things. Well, this is a malted milk chocolate chip cookie. So I wanna see if it takes on that flavor of the Whoppers candy, cause that would be really cool. So this is something we're gonna try today and see how it works. It's still gonna be a good cookie regardless, even if it tastes like a Whopper or not. Alrighty, let me show you what you need for today and let's get started. Let's get some cookies in the oven. Okay, for our malted milk cookies today, we need two and a half cups of all purpose flour, three quarter cups of plain malted milk powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, a half a cup of light brown sugar, firmly packed, two sticks of salted butter softened, two large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk, and two cups of milk chocolate chips. Let's get started. We have our flour here. Okay, and we're going to add to this our dry ingredients, so we're going to add our malted milk powder. Now, it was a little hard finding malted milk powder in some supermarkets. Um, if you're looking for it, it's either in the baking section, which is not where I found it, but it could be there because that's where the dry milk is, um, or it's where I found it, in the coffee aisle by your uh, coffee uh, powdered sweetener things, you know. Uh, it was right next to that. So, oh, let me show you what it looks like. This is the one that I used, okay? It's, I'm covering up the brand. I don't know if I'm supposed to show the brand, but anyway, that's what it looks like, okay? So you just get a container of that. So we're mixing in our bowl here, our flour, our malted milk powder, our salt, and our baking soda. Okay, and we're just gonna whisk that together. Next, in our mixer, take your brown sugar and your regular sugar. Just going to combine them. And then once you have the two sugars combined, just add your softened butter to this, okay? Kind of like what you do with most cookie recipes that we do, you're creaming your sugar and butter together. Once that's together, we're going to add our eggs, our two eggs, our vanilla, and our sweetened condensed milk. Finally, on low speed, you want to whip it when you're doing the other parts before you add these last two, just so your batter's kind of nice and fluffy. And then now you're going to add your flour and your chocolate chips on low speed just to stir it to combine. We don't want to over mix our batter here, okay? So little by little, we're just going to add our chips. And our Okay. okay, so that's it. It took about two minutes to really mix this together to combine it. Like I said, you want to just mix it on slow just till it's combined. And then we have this perfect chocolate chip cookie dough batter like you would expect to find, you know? So you just want to make sure we get everything mixed in. And now we have our parchment lined cookie sheets ready to go. So let's start scooping. Alrighty, <laughs> scooping some cookies. Okay, so get your handy dandy scoop out. Everybody should have one of these small little cookie scoops. Makes life a lot easier. You're just going to scoop and drop. I mean, could it get any easier today? I mean, this batter took a minute to put together pretty much. And then now all we're doing is just Scooping and dropping. That's it. You're going to preheat your oven to 300. This is uh, one of those, seems like it's a slow go uh, bake for this cookie because you're going to bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes at a lower temperature. So rather than normally, you know, a cookie's 350, 400 for like 12 minutes or something, you know, 15 minutes. This one's going about 25 minutes. And 
300 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna scoop all these out, we'll get them in the oven, and we'll be back when they're coming out. Okay, there's our mess of cookies all done, ready to go, cooling on our cooling racks, which I was never a huge cooling rack person years ago when I used to make cookies and stuff. Now I am, and I'm gonna tell you why. If you don't have cooling racks, they're not expensive at all, just go get a couple of them. Because, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure everybody knows, but in case you don't know, when you leave your cookies on the sheet pan to cool down, they continue cooking. So your bottoms look kind of like that. See how dark they are? Still very edible cookie, but when you put them on cooling racks, they look like that. So it kind of matches the top and the bottom, okay? So you want to, you know, once in a while you get the dark one, which is okay. But we're going to try one of these. I got my glass of milk already. Let's see if these taste like Whoppers candy, which is what I'm guessing they're going to taste like. Hmm. Oops, I dripped some milk. Sorry. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it just tastes like a really good chocolate chip cookie. And it's still warm and soft and squishy, which is great. Got to try not to eat them all at once. I mean, they're not as malted milky as I was hoping. I mean, maybe you have to use more, or maybe you have to use the chocolate version of that malted milk powder. There's a chocolate version, too. So maybe that would give it more of that Whoppers candy kind of taste. But it's still a really good cookie. Especially out of the oven. Alright, i got to have a couple more of these and finish my milk. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Chocolate chip day. Have some chocolate chips in a cookie.